to connect to your database system set up by Forge in SQL ACE, you're going to choose the SSH option. You want to give this shortcut a name, I'll just call it demo. For my SQL host, you're going to plug in your server's IP address. So I'm going to go over to Forge and grab that. For username, we're going to connect as Forge, which is the default database user that Forge sets up for you when it first provisions your servers and your databases. If you're unsure what the password is for this user, in Forge, go to your databases and then scroll down to the option Manage Database Password. You can reset your Forge database user password here. I'm going to type my password in. And for the next three fields, I'm going to leave them as the defaults. If I wanted to connect to a particular database, I could specify that here, but I'm going to leave it blank. So this is going to give me access to all the databases on the system. Now, the information we just added is what's going to authenticate us to our database system once we're connected to the server. To connect to the server, though, we have to fill in these details down here with our SSH information. For host, we'll once again plug in our server's IP address. For user, we're going to connect as the Forge user. Uh, and this is different than the Forge user up here. This was our database user down here. This is referring to our Forge uh, server user. And again, this is something that Forge sets up for us when it provisions our servers. For SSH password, we want to point to the private key that exists on our computer that we use to connect to our server. So I'm going to locate that by clicking this little key icon. And I'm currently in my home directory. So this is under the users directory. I'm just going to click my computer's username. And then I'm going to find the .ssh directory. If you're not seeing these directories that start with a period, make sure you check off this option to show hidden files. So within my SSH directory, I want to find my private key I used to connect this server. In my case, that key is just called Susan. I'll open that up. And then I can just double check that the path looks good there. I'll leave all these other settings as the default and then click test connection. And that was successful. So I'll click add to favorites and then let's go ahead and connect. And perfect, there's all my databases on this Forge managed server.